Welcome back, welcome back everyone. So my apologies for the last video. I didn't realize that this question had three parts to it. So that's my fault. I've uploaded the previous one. I'm just going to just do this one separate. So still, please do like and subscribe so we can help the channel grow. So I can keep making free stuff and keep giving you guys resources. So we're looking at the same question again. Jackie uses using a mobile hotspot. But now it says explain one disadvantage of using a pan to connect to the internet. The first thing we have here, cost implications of using cellular data because she may run out of data or have to top up, which can be expensive. Not so true anymore in 2022 when I'm recording this video because most companies do offer you unlimited data for a relatively cheap price, but this can still be the case. For example, I actually don't have unlimited data on my phone. I have Wi-Fi at home, Wi-Fi at work, and most of my friends, they have Wi-Fi at home. So... I only have 15 gigabytes of data. So if I'm connecting my laptop to my mobile phone to use hotspot every day for working, watching videos, yes, it will be finished and I will have to top up again. So even though it's not that common now to do this, it's still a thing. Uh, where am I now? It says uses cellular data allowance, which will use up data available for other devices. Very, very true. The 15 gigabytes I have on my O2 or my GIFGAF um, SIM card if I finish that using it on my laptop, then I actually won't have any space, any data left for my phone to use. So when I'm out and about and I don't have Wi-Fi, I'll have no data left to use on my actual phone. Limited signal range because she is confined to a maximum of 10 meters. The devices are further away from each other. Yes and no. Again, be careful. This These answers seem very, very, very old. Wi-Fi typically goes bet yeah, yeah, between 10 and 30 meters, I would say. They, that's the typical range of Wi-Fi. Phones might have a slightly um, uh, less range than, let's say, the Wi-Fi you have at house because that's dedicated. That, that's all it does. Your Wi-Fi signal from your phone. So again, this is using your hotspot. It can be used via Bluetooth and it can be done via normal Wi-Fi signal, right? And typically speaking, the range would be less than the traditional Wi-Fi in most cases, not in every case. Next, we have data can drop out, unstable connection, because there can be interference with radio signals going through black spots. I mentioned this in my previous video. On a train, we go through tunnels, we go over bridges, we go over water in most places in London, right? And you will have black spots. Black spots meaning places where your 3G, 4G or 5G just completely drops out. You have no mobile reception. And when you have no more mobile reception, it's impossible for you to then use your hotspot to connect to the internet because your phone isn't picking up any network, let's say. That's what this is. Whereas the train company in this case might have a more stable connection to the internet or to their network service provider. So their ISP, which is typically internet service provider. Slower data transfer, which can cause problems when downloading larger files. This still is true. Uh, however, 5G, now again, we're in 20, this video has been recorded in 2022 when 5G is up on the rise in London, for example. This is not much, this is not much the case anymore. When, when I'm in London on my mobile phone using 5G, I get faster speeds than I do with my broadband at home. So not always the case, but can still be the case. Many places around the world, in the UK even, you still only have 3G and 4G connections. There's still no 5G in many places. So this can still be the case if the network speeds are slower or typically slower than what Wi-Fi is. Battery used up quickly on mobile devices so Jackie would not be able to connect to the internet. Yes, true. And again, not so true, but let's stick to the, the why, why it is so. When your mobile phone has to give off an internet connection so give off wi-fi signal or give off a bluetooth signal to connect to the internet it's doing more than the average mobile phone is doing so because of that the the amount of battery it uses per hour per minute however long is going to be more than your phone just using the normal data and you watching a video or doing a text message or something like that so it is true and it says, accept any, all of, any other valid response or anything else that you can think of within the realms of possibilities makes sense, okay? The last part of this question says, Jackie's friend has a tablet computer. Jackie would like to give her friend access to the PAN, to the personal or private area network. Describe the steps they need to follow to allow the friend to gain 
access. Now, this sounds way more than it needs to. This is essentially asking you guys, when your friend comes to you and says, oh, I have no data, can I use your hotspot quickly? What is the process or the steps that they need to follow in order for them to connect to your hotspot? That's all it's asking here. Now, I have an Android phone, right? So let me just quickly, I haven't looked at the answers yet. Let me just quickly go through what I would do on my Android phone. I would, let's see my steps. I have a Motorola. I would go to my settings. I would find my hotspot setting. I would turn my hotspot on. I would make my hotspot discoverable or visible to others. So what you can do is, if something is already connected, you don't, you no longer need to make your hotspot visible because it knows that that pathway, let's say. So you don't need to always make it visible, right? After making it visible, I would um, note down whatever password is generated or I could create my own password. And then I would give that to my friend or to whoever wants to connect. That person would then go to their settings on their mobile device or laptop or tablet. They would find... In some cases, um, hotspot uh, hot internet connection can be shared via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Let's stick to the Wi-Fi one because that's what most people in 2022 was, um, they're going to be using. After going to their settings app, they would then have to go to their connection settings. They would have to find their Wi-Fi. They would then have to search for my Wi-Fi, which I made discoverable or visible earlier. Once they see that name, they will click on it, tap on it, open that setting enter the password I gave them um, and simply connect. After connecting, that should be it. They should be able to use it. Now, this is typically how it works for Android and iPhones. I've, I don't have an iPhone, so I'm not entirely sure, but that's how it works for Android phones. There are quicker ways, but give the entire, um, give the longer steps here, right? Don't give the shortened version because again, it's four marks and this is a lot of space for four marks, right? So the shorter version on my phone I have a toggle at the top, so I just have to drag down my notification setting. I have to tap hotspot, it comes on, and that's actually it. But you do not, I repeat, you do not want to give that option. The option you ideally want to give is uh, describe the steps they need to follow for the friend to gain access. So let me open the answer sheet. Okay, so they have both options here, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I did the Wi-Fi one because that's what most people are going to be using. So I'm going to skip the Bluetooth one for now. But if you guys want to read it, pause the video and go ahead and read that quickly, okay? Let me just stay there for a second. All right. So Jackie needs to turn on wireless, allow others to join, share connection. The friend needs to search uh, for or find the device or the network. Jackie needs to tell the friend the password. The friend needs to enter the password. The friend needs to join the network. Uh, might get pairing connect included in it. okay yeah that's fine so more or less exactly how you would describe the steps you need to follow to connect to a friend's hotspot or what the friend needs to do to connect to your hotspot so this is one of those questions where once you understand what it's asking your real world knowledge of this thing that most of you have probably done at some point it doesn't even have to be a hotspot it could just be a normal wi-fi once you know how to connect to someone's wi-fi you go to your friend's house how do you typically connect to their Wi-Fi? You state that process and that's it. So that's it for this question. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, the exam, I believe the reset is going to be the 10th of June. I know is when my school is going to be doing it. So when is 10th of June, May, June. Yep. Yeah. So we have a good couple of weeks. I would say three, four weeks. I'm going to try and do a video every day until... The exam is finished. I hope you guys find it useful. Any questions you have, do let me know. I will also be creating two papers, right? I'm going to be doing a short question paper where I only have short answer questions on there. And I'm going to be doing a long answer question where I obviously have long, long questions on there. And I'm going to share that with you guys. I'm going to drop links in a video at some point where you guys will have to go and download those papers as potentially a Word document and type into it or print it or edit it yourself, okay? So stay tuned.